There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm, a place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily, let's go feed. Hey folks, we're at the National Poultry Association meeting here in Columbus, Ohio. And let me tell you, it is loud. All right, guys, these are the uh, silver apple yard, just like the ones, the pair that I have at home. This is a Saxony duck. Good heavy body, about the same size as a Rowan. Neat bird. Saxony Drake. Yeah, this is a buff. This is a Cayuga. Beautiful black with green sheen duck. Beautiful duck. Got one duck. There you go, Kathy Campbell's. Best laying duck there is. And this is a magpie duck. See these black and white colors? It's called a magpie. <clears throat> this here's a Muscovy duck. You can see how big they are. Look at the head on him. That's a Muscovy duck. Look at the size of this Pekin duck. I've seen smaller geese. You're a big old boy, aren't you? Wowzers. Hey, Steve, did you miss my text? show people some of the different breeds like this chocolate turkey no it is not for Easter you can't eat it well you can but not like that go on come on through kids boy he's a royal palm look at him in strut and he just gorgeous Well, here they are judging the turkeys. These are the uh, giant white, the big jumbo giant whites. Sort of interesting how the judge does this. He looks at the bird head, and then he looks at both of the wings, runs his hand down the back of the turkey, then he checks the legs, the breast, the keel. Pretty thorough uh, job of going over all the anatomy of each individual bird writes his score on his little card and moves on to the next one. Being the national show, turkeys aren't the only thing being judged here. All 8,500 birds that were brought to this show were judged. This is the big national, folks. This is the big one in the poultry industry. All the people that breed, all the different types of birds, they're all here for bragging rights and to name their bird being number one in the country. So it's kind of a big deal. Um, these guys are real serious about this. But like I said before, it's not just the birds that are being judged. They close off each section at a time and go through the birds, but it's the kids that really make a difference here. These are the kids that have won at their respective counties all over Ohio. They get to come here to the National and compete. 
for the for the big grand champion for the state. Pretty big deal. It was a lot of fun to watch these kids compete. Isn't he beautiful? Light brown legging. And there's a hen. Now I'm sure there was more there, but these are the only two geese that I saw at the entire show. These are Sebastopol geese. Notice the frilly feathers on them, they're really pretty. Buff Brahmin. Beautiful dark Brahmin. <clears throat> Light Brahmin. Notice the feather footing. Feather footed birds. Over here we have white. Someone laid an egg. A lot of eggs in the pens. There's another light Brahmin. Beautiful. Small little New Hampshire. A little difference in size. Light Brahmin, New Hampshire. A light Brahmin, a New Hampshire. Okay, no matter what kind of chicken you might want, here you go, naked neck. Here's a blue naked neck. White naked necks. These are banny sized chickens versus full size chickens. These are little silver sea brights. You can see how small they are compared to the size of the feed cups. Just tiny little birds. Hello there, sweetie. <clears throat> Not much bigger than a pigeon. I mean, you compare that to the White Plymouth Rock. I mean, there's the extreme between two sizes of birds. Here's a white Plymouth rock with his feed cup. And the Seabright's in the same size feed cup. Actually, they're not much bigger than the feed cup. <clears throat> but look how beautiful these guys are. Beautiful white rock. And not a pretty bird. Well, as you can tell by the feed cups, Meyer Hatchery was a major sponsor here at the show. We'll have more information coming about them later. We're going to be partnering up with them on a project I'm working on. Mm. Well, hey there. How are you doing? Huh. How long have you been breeding them? Uh, I just got it last year. Uh -huh. um, they, come out of my, they come out of the gold. Right. So you've had, how, many, how long have you been breeding chickens? Oh, jeez. 2011 years old. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, so a day or two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, yeah they come out of the golden, golden uh, country. Huh. And it's a new color. And, so I'm working on uh, finding out if they breed true now. Uh, and uh, so the goldens are down here. They have enough to go in while I don't know. Well, and that's typical. The silver is right there. Right. And the males are more of a solid color. Why the Hamburg? Why did you pick that breed? Uh, they're solid looking breed. I went to the fire. Right. I'm sorry. 
the total opposite of the uh, bird's eye. Golden, golden pencil. Golden penciled hamburger. Yeah, this is really I, I do like the solid color, you know, neck versus the speckle on them. Yeah, see, that's what the males look like right there. Beautiful. <clears throat> but, so why that, I mean, you like the coloring, but why? It's just the, the, the pipe, it's just the proud, proud uh, the way they stand, they just stand up proud. Kind of like themselves. a Polish. I mean, or not a Polish, but a Seabright. Uh, uh, yeah, they hold their head right up and their chest kind of out. Yeah, it's similar to Seabright. Yeah. Yep. That's what they remind me of. They look, look kind of like a Seabright, but... Plus, I live near Hamburg, New York, too. Oh, do you? <laughs> Where? It's just outside of Buffalo. Okay, I was just up there last year. I bought a boat in Sandusky, Ohio, and I went across Lake Erie down the Erie Canal and sailed it all the way down to Florida Keys last year. Oh, wow. Took off a whole year and had fun on a boat. Now I'm getting back into homesteading and farming. Oh, <clears throat> I'd love to have some time just to do some stuff I like to do, but, you know, most of the time, you know, work, 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 work. You gotta buy the feed. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. And these are the black hamburgers. <clears throat> now look how he's got a red and white patch on his throat. And yet the other ones didn't have that. As you can see here in the show, they put up signage for where the birds originate from. The continent, Mediterranean, English. The continent, of course, being the greater area of Europe. And I really don't understand this other sign, frankly, I don't know what ASOB or AS, AOSB stands for. Notice all the boxes in everybody's hands. Lots of people buying birds here at the show. I unfortunately did not buy any because I'm not ready to get chickens yet. But lots of folks did. It was a huge show, folks. Lots and lots of birds. Here we are working our way through Vendor's Row. In this first section here, it was all the different uh, breed associations, you know, the, the Mediterranean Association, the English style chickens, the right down to specifics like the Seabright Association or the Long, uh, uh, Longhorn Association, Leggard, excuse me, Association. It was really interesting to see how specific it was. Anyhow, while I was working my way through all this, I was trying to find my way over to, uh, to a particular booth and that's this one here. This is owned by another YouTuber. Go ahead and be sure to check out their channel. Who's the head honcho here? I'm Carl from Grandpa's Farm. Howdy, Carl. How are you? How you doing? Good. I'm Jeremy. I figured you said signs. I figured this would be the right place. This is, oh, yeah. That's right. You said something about a 2 for one Facebook page. Yep. 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 Here we are. Here we are. Pretty nice. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Pretty cool. I like it. Good. We appreciate it. We, so, uh, is this we, what you're doing for, I mean, this is your main gig? Or? It's just a little side deal that we do. Uh, my hmm. wife works in the healthcare field, and I work for the Air Force. So. Oh, do you? Yeah. All right. Yep. Yep. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, this is just a little side business that started off with one little stencil from Hobby Lobby, and it's just turned into we do stuff like this in our free time. It's just we work out pretty good for us. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. I want to get your mother clucker sign. What's that? I want that mother clucker sign. <laughs> and then you've got a duck one on the other side. I want that too. Okay. All right. The quack house. Okay. <clears throat> you take you take credit cards? Yes, we do. Oh, I didn't know if you had more out back or something. Ten and twelve, please. Okay. Add that one too. Okay, and a twelve. <clears throat> Where 
are you from again? I can't remember. Right now I'm down by Lancaster. Okay. But I'm going down to Southeast Ohio. I'm, I'm in the process of getting a new place down there. Whereabouts? That's where I'm from. <clears throat> Well, I'm looking around Athens. Okay, all right. But uh, uh, right now I'm looking at a place that's uh, over by, um, oh, uh, a little bit east of Chauncey. Okay, I've heard of that. Or Chansey, as the locals call it. <laughs> you know why it's called different than what it's spelt, don't you? Why is that? That way they can tell who the revenues were. <laughs> Seriously, oh, yeah. true story. No yeah. kidding. When yeah. they come in, they, Chancey's right always called Chancey, and all locals call it Chancey because that people from out of the area call it Chauncey. No kidding. Yeah, they, they, they named it. Yes. Yeah. 34. Yep. No kidding. Now, I'm from <clears throat> up around like Woodsfield, Caldwell, up in that direction. Okay. Uh, back Marietta. Right, yeah, down by the river. Yeah, yep. Yep. Ready? <clears throat> yeah, I went to school in Athens. Spent most of my life in Hocking County. Okay. Down around Southeast Logan, down to my old man's cave. Yep. We, uh, my dad used to work on the uh, Scenic Railroad there oh, in yeah. Nelsonville whenever Nelsonville, it was Nelsonville, yeah. Yep. There's that. I need your signature, please. <clears throat> Um, if you want to sell it to them, you can send me one. Oh, no, we're you're good. I think we have another one. Okay, yep. all right. I think we're good. Thank you, sir. Um, <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks. I'll talk to you guys later. Have fun. I let this run in its entirety for a particular reason you'll see at the end. It reminds me of the old Hummels. Down, down there, yeah, very much like a Hummel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it looks like a Hummel. Wow. It doesn't have a price on it. How much are these? Yeah, these ones are three. It's got the little red dollars. Three dollars? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, and, and I want the other one, too. What do I do with it? Right there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Wrap them up really good, because they got a rough ride home. My mother loved Hummels. So how much do I owe you? How much? Six. Six whole dollars. Jeez, bank robbery. <laughs> now notice I give her a $20 bill. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Labradors. Okay, make it eight. Go for an even 10. Yeah, duckies. There. Hmm. I'm I'm an anomaly. I, I raise Labradors and ducks. And, and I just bought it. <clears throat> and you know what? My Labradors leave my ducks alone. Notice she did not give me ten dollars change. And when they're really little, you let a goose get at them. They leave the ducks alone forever after that. They want nothing to do with them. <clears throat> Either that or a mama duck. So I'm running this uh, this clip nonstop, without any breaks, so you can see that I bought these items, paid her twenty dollars, never did get any change from her, even though she, later on she claimed she did. Well, I got too much stuff in them. When I got home, I checked my wallet. I did not have a $10 bill from her. Think that'll make it? But these things were so affordable and such a great deal. I was so thrilled with that price. Thank you, did you give me my change back? Did you give me my change back? Did you? Okay. Oh, that's right. I put it in my wallet. You did. You did. You're right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, you didn't. Now, I said she did because I didn't want to argue with her and create a scene, but she did not. But that's okay. Like I said, it was such a great deal, I was okay with it, so. Well, kids, I tell you what, that was amazing. I just left the Ohio National Poultry Association meeting. 
you know, chickens, ducks, turkeys, and geese. 8,500 entries there at that, uh, in that, I don't know what you call it, it's not a fair, but show. 8,500 entries. <clears throat> Amazing to me the diversity of poultry that we have in America today. I mean, it's just, it's just mind boggling. All the different choices and things that you have, so. Anyhow, with that said, <clears throat> I'm working out a deal with a hatchery and I'll start doing a series breed specific series one after another after another after another um we'll start that as soon as we get our own new place how's that is that true lily you like that idea you like that huh yeah you like that idea yeah you do were you all alone here in the car by yourself huh were you all alone in the car by yourself oh poor abused dog or abused dog. It's nice and cool out here. It's not hot, so. I mean, it's cold. I'm wearing coat cold, so. She's fine. Okay, get back. Uh, anyhow. Wow, I'm, I am exhausted. I am beat walking around that place. <clears throat> Building is huge. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Hey, I will have more here for you. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just end this video here. All right, guys, we'll morph you later. Be good, be careful, take good care of one another. We'll see you later. Bye. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in their mouth. I be a toad sucker, don't want to duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.